If you wanna learn the fastest way to make money with affiliate marketing, then watch this video. We're gonna talk about Google Ads and affiliate marketing. I'm gonna talk about how I was able to recently cross the $6 million in ad spend on Google search ads as an affiliate marketer running CPA affiliate offers. And I'm gonna show you these six steps one by one on how you can achieve the same amount of success if you follow the rules of Google ads, okay? A lot of affiliates think, or a lot of people think that you can't run affiliate offers on Google ads. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna dispel the myth. And I'm gonna show you where you can get access to sample campaigns that I'm running right now on Google search ads. So let's get into my computer and let's talk about it now. Here we are in inside my Google Ads account. You can see I recently crossed the $6 million in spend with over 200,000 conversions. And these are affiliate marketing conversions. These are offers I'm running as an affiliate through Google search ads, okay? So we're gonna talk about the steps to success. And number one is where a lot of people fail right away is they break the rules of Google and they don't have the right destination requirements. I cover this in another video and I cover it in more detail in other topics. But the number one thing you need to understand here is that Google wants you to have a website that has authority or at least provides value to the end user. And so therefore you need to create landing pages that are providing value to people. So how do you find these landing pages and how do you get examples of that? Well, first of all, let me just say that we do have a new course called the 30 day Google ads challenge. And there's a link in the description. It's the first link you're gonna see down below and it shows precisely the step-by-step -step of everything I'm about to show you um, in more detail, showing you examples, ads, landing pages and everything. But I'm gonna show you how to find these landing pages right now with an easy tool you can use to see what other people are doing. But the main thing here is to understand the destination rules. So make sure you read the Google Ads policies, okay? So let's go and check out a tool that I use a lot, and that is called SEMrush. If you go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash SEMrush, you will get a seven day free trial. So there's also a link down below for that free trial. But basically this allows me to spy on what other people are doing. I can find affiliate campaigns already running on Google ads. I can see their landing pages and I can see what they're doing to make sure they're not breaking any rules. So let's do an example here. Let's go to Google and search weight loss. Weight loss is a very t uh, popular topic for affiliates. There's a lot of money to be made. So if you search weight loss, you're usually gonna find non-affiliate ads. These are like the Nooms, the Weight Watchers, all the big companies are usually targeting these broad, real, they're not really hot keywords that you can target on search, but basically you're going to find the big companies. And one being Noom, let's take Noom as an example and bring it over to SEMrush and type in Noom.com in the advertising research. And basically what you can do here with this tool is you can see all of the competitors. This is how we're going to find the affiliates, okay? We can see their keywords, but we can also see the competitors. And then you can really easily spot where the affiliates are here by looking at pages like this. Top five weight loss plans. That's clearly an affiliate marketer. We have other ones here, uh, 2023 Keto Gummies. That's probably an affiliate. It's not a big brand, so you can pretty much guarantee it's gonna be an affiliate. So this is how you find landing pages that people are running. Um, a lot more detail on this, again, in the course that I mentioned, which is down below. You can check that out if you want. And let's move on. So now that you know how to build your website, you, well, you at least know where to look at the rules and you know how to find examples, let's talk about number two, which is choosing affiliate offers. A lot of people, again, lose their ad accounts right away because they're pitching offers that aren't allowed on Google Ads. If you're fresh to Google Ads and you start running offers that are not allowed, you are going to be banned instantly and you probably won't get your account back. Now the types of offers I'm running are CPA affiliate offers. And one place you can come to look for CPA affiliate offers is Max Bounty. Now a lot of people like to use ClickBank, but you know what, ClickBank is really tough with um, their landing pages I find and Google search ads. And I'm not gonna get into that detail, right now, but basically it comes down to whether your traffic is hot, cold, or warm. And I find it's a lot easier to convert the CPA offers because they don't often require a full payment in order for you to get paid. So you can see what I get paid here is the commission for my CPA offers. 
And what I'll usually do is I'll come into an, a network like this and I'll just find offers that allow search. So you can filter down to search and you can start applying these options and you can start finding the highest EPC, which is earnings per click. And you start looking for offers that have a high EPC and related to what you're doing. So here's an example, Noom Weight Loss pays $20 per lead. And according to the network statistics, it has an average of $4.42 earnings per click. So obviously somebody is crushing this offer right now to have a conversion rate of nearly 20% on this offer. And I'm sure that this offer converts because it is also a branded keyword. So this might be an option that I would look at, okay? Typically when I'm picking CPA offers for affiliate marketing on Google Ads, I am always looking for offers that pay at least anything above 20 because you're really looking at a cost per click here of at least a dollar. And remember I showed you over $6 million in ad spend. My average here is 95 cents per click. So all of that needs to be considered when you're looking at the conversion rates and how much you're getting paid back. So I, like I said, anything above $20 is typically where I'm at. Next step, next step is again, using the spy tool once you know what offer you are going to be running. So in this case, let's just say we're gonna run Noom weight loss on Google search ads. The next thing I need to do is of course, come back in here and start looking at these landing pages and building my own website. This website needs to have all of the requirements that you need to make sure you're not breaking the rules of the bridge page policy. This is covered in detail in the third lesson of the 30 day challenge where we cover exactly how to set up the website, all of the legal pages you need, all of the linkages you need and everything else so that you don't get banned immediately on Google ads. If you want to take the easy route, you can also hire somebody to do it for you and tell them to build your website based on one of these that you might have found that is following the rules of Google ads. Step four is you wanna create at least two landing pages and test them, okay? A lot of people just set up their Google ads ads, they come in and they run one page, they don't run it long enough, they don't get enough conversions, and they think it's not gonna work, so they quit. And they don't ever test the landing pages based on headlines or images or calls to action. There's a whole bunch of detail around testing it in itself. And really, you're not gonna win the first step. You're not gonna win the first go around. The best way to really increase your chances and your odds are to look at what other people are doing, look at their ads, and come up with new angles and new ideas that you can use in your ads so that you can try and compete with these other brands. And that is the key here is you really have to constantly be testing ads. You can see just from this Noom itself, they have hundreds of ads that they're testing. So it's not just a set and forget kind of deal here with Google search ads. You really do have to spend a lot of time testing and tweaking new ads, new landing pages, and looking at your data. So you're going to need tracking set up and you're going to need to track conversions, all of that. And that is extremely important for success here on Google search ads. The next step is setting up your campaigns. So when you're setting up your first campaign here, what I typically do on my first campaign, if I'm testing something new, is I am going for sales. And in order to to run a sales campaign, you obviously have to be able to track conversions into Google. All of that is covered in our CPB lab lesson in part of our training inside that I've linked to down below. But basically you can send all of your conversion data into Google ads, which makes it a lot easier for you to track as well as use their automated bid strategies. But when you first start your campaigns, it can be hard to know what bidding strategy to use because especially if you're starting out and you have no conversion data inside Google, then it's important that you start with a traffic strategy. So basically what I like to do is I'll set up my campaign and then I will come in and I will change the bid strategy because oftentimes Google will not let you use a manual cost per click when you're setting up your Google Ads campaign. You have to come back into the settings after and you need to come in and change your bid strategy here. And what you can do is you can select a bid strategy directly, which is not recommended. Of course, Google doesn't want you to do this because they want you to automate everything. But when you're first starting out your first campaign, you might want to go for a manual cost per click bid. Okay, so you're bidding per keyword, how much you wanna spend per keyword. When you select manual, they'll ask you if you wanna increase conversions with enhanced EPC, and that means you're giving Google the authority to 
increase your bid if they think that there's going to be a conversion happening somewhere else. Oftentimes when I start, I will either do a manual cost per click or enhanced cost per click until I have at least 30 to 50 conversions. Then once that happens, then you can switch to a more automated targeting strategy like target CPA or maximize conversions with a target CPA or return on ad spend, target ROAS. All of these are available here and as you change your options and stuff like that. So that is one trick to making sure you get the bid strategy correct and you start running your tests. The last thing you're gonna wanna do once you've got at least 30 to 50 conversions and you've ran your ads for a decent amount of time, usually I run it for two weeks to four weeks to see where the conversions are happening. Then you're gonna start to see that certain things are working and certain things are not working. You should be, again, testing your landing pages, but you're gonna be looking at your location targets and making sure that you pause locations that are not working for you. You also wanna start looking at your devices to see which devices are getting you the most conversions, maybe adjust bids based on the mobile versus desktop versus tablet. And you're also going to wanna start doing some ad groups, different angles, different strategies in each ad group, okay? All of this covered in the 30-day challenge. If you want more details on how to run campaigns and the exact details on how to set up your website, how to avoid account bans, how to optimize and how to set up these in more detail with conversion tracking, check out the link down in the description. Hopefully this has helped you get some ideas on where to find winning campaigns for Google ads and affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching.